everyone this is your kalpana here so in this video we are going to see a problem on coordinate geometry okay so here is the problem find the value of a such that pq equals to qr where p q and r are the points whose coordinates are 6 comma minus 1 1 comma 3 and a comma 8 respectively okay so here we have to find the value of a we are given the condition that pq equals to qr where p q and r are the points whose coordinates are p q and r respectively okay so using this condition we have to find the value of a solution Given points P six comma minus one Q one comma three and R A comma eight. So here we have to find the value of A. Also given P Q equals to Q R. So here we have to use this condition, right? So, to use this condition, we need to know the value of PQ and QR. That is the distance PQ and QR. So, PQ equals to square root of, since we know that distance D is given by x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Right? So, P Q equals to square root of 1 minus 6 whole square plus 3 minus of y2 is minus 1 whole square which is equals to square root of 1 minus 6 is minus 5 whole square plus 3 minus into minus plus 1 whole square. So, this equals to square root of Minus 5 square is 25 plus 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 square is 16. So 25 plus 16 will be 5 plus 1 11. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. So this is equals to square root of 41. Okay. Now we will find the distance QR. QR equals to square root of A minus 1 whole square plus 8 minus 3 whole square. So, this equals to square root of A minus 1 whole square plus 8 minus 3 is 5 square. Okay. So, this equals to square root of a minus 1 whole square plus 5 square is 25. So, you are having PQ and QR. PQ and QR. Now, we can apply this PQ and uh, values of Q, PQ and QR in this condition. Right? So, now we are going to use the values of PQ and QR in the given condition. That is PQ equals to QR. Now, we have PQ equals to QR. This implies PQ equals to root 41, which is equals to square root of A minus 1 whole square plus 25. Okay. So, squaring on both sides, we will get By squaring on both sides, you will get 41 square root and square gets cancelled. So, you will get 41 equals to A minus 1 whole square plus 25. So, this implies now 25. Take this 25 towards left. So, left hand side. 
is equals to a minus 1 whole square. So this implies 41 minus 25 is 16. So 16 equals to a minus 1 whole square or you can write it as a minus 1 whole square equals to 16. So this implies a minus 1 equals to square root of 16 which implies a minus 1 equals to plus or minus 4. Okay. So this implies now take this minus 1 to RHS a equals to 1 plus or minus 4. So now we can split this for plus and minus. A equals to 1 plus 4 and A equals to 1 minus 4. Since 1 minus 4 is 5, so A equals to 5 or 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So therefore, values of A are A equals to minus 3 comma Five. Okay, so this completes the problem. So in this video we have seen how to find the value of A using the given condition. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.